What's up everybody, my name is Shai Mizrahi and you guys are watching Fluffy Flamingos where we teach you cool magic tricks and how to better your films. Two years ago around this time I made a tutorial for this something called the Omni Deck Magic Trick. It needs a lot of revision. If you guys don't know what an Omni Deck is, it is basically this piece of glass right here. It is clear all the way through except for the sides which are painted and gridded to look like a deck of cards. The effect is simple. A spectator will take a random card and sign it. You then later put it back into the deck of cards and then it jumps to the top of the pack. You then give the card to the spectator into which the card jumps back into the top of the pack. Once again, you lose it back in the deck and you give them the whole deck this time. They hold their hands over it and then you do whatever gesture you would like and then eventually what happens is that their card is remaining on top of this piece of glass. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is the performance in a nutshell. If you want to see a more in-depth performance, I did post a video a couple days ago called my top 10 favorite magic tricks. In that video, you can go click that and there is a performance in there that you can go and see anytime you want. If you want, you can go click that video and then come back to get a better understanding if you really feel like you need to. But if not, we're just gonna press on. I'm going to teach you two things about the Omni Deck. There is a performance, the one I just showed you, I'm going to teach you and then I'm also going to give you the variation, which I did do the performance in that other video. So for this effect, you're going to need only three things. You're going to need a deck of cards, any deck of cards works, the Omni Deck. If you do not have this, I will leave a link in the description box below where you can get it. It's pretty cheap, something about $10 or so. I'm sure you can find it in various places. And then the last thing is not uncommon, it's a Sharpie. The last time I taught this trick, I made the grave mistake of teaching people to make a deck switch from the front shirt pocket. It was not the most bright idea, but again, I was very young and that's just how I performed it back then, but I've grown up and learned more about it. So this is the way that I perform it now. It's cleaner, it's much more interactive, and it's very eye-popping. So let's get into the tutorial on how to do this. Okay guys, so for a warning, this trick involves signing the cards. So if you want to do this trick, you're going to have to feel comfortable with signing off cards and you don't have to give them away, but it is an option and it is a very good option in my opinion. For this example, we're just gonna use a random blue pack of bikes and they're Obviously normal, you can use any deck of cards that's on you, but there is some prep involved. With the Omni deck, you need to do a deck switch and for that to work fast and efficient. And for that to work, you're gonna have to place two playing cards on the top of the Omni deck. And this will stay in your back pocket. Also in your back pocket, you're gonna be holding your Sharpie. You're going to choose any random card that they would like. Let's say in this case, they pick the three of hearts. You're going to go to your back pocket and you're going to take your Sharpie out. You're going to give them the card and you're going to have them sign it. Now in my instance, when I perform this, when they choose their card, I don't see it and I give it to them to sign it without me looking. Reason being, as they're signing this, you're going to go to your back pocket and you're going to make your deck switch. Starting from the beginning, they, they will choose whatever card they'd like and you're going to give them the Sharpie and you're going to have them sign it. I'll leave this on the desk. As they're signing this, you're going to your back pocket and getting the Omni deck out while you are ditching the other deck. So this is your new position. When they're done signing their card, you have two cards on top of the Omni deck. Hold that mechanics grip and then they have finished signing their card and they bring it back to you. First, you want to take the Sharpie from their hand as they're still holding their card. Ditch that Sharpie back in your pocket. From here, you still don't want to really see their card because there's a reason you didn't look at it before. Now in this part of the trick, there is one sleight of hand move that you're going to have to learn. It's not difficult at all. It's very, very simple. I'm gonna leave this face up so you don't get confused between the other two cards, but this should be face down for the performance. What you're going to do is you're going to get a pinky break over the bottom card. You're also gonna get the flesh of your thumb underneath and you have a big wide gap. From above, you can't see this at all. So what you're gonna be doing is taking their card and sliding it in like this, and it looks like it's going into the center of the pack, but really it's second in position. Again, when you're performing this, this card should be face down. So in performance speed, it should look like this. They give you the Sharpie, you put that in your back pocket, and then you say, okay, I'll take your card now. And then you just go ahead, do the Marlowe tilt, stick it into the center of the pack, which is actually now second from the top. From here, you get a double lift 
and you can show that their card has traveled to the top. And then you can do another double lift and give them this top card, which is obviously not theirs. I'm gonna move this to the desk so that you guys can see that this is their hand. If their hand is standing over here, basically what I do in performance is I go underneath their hand and then I do a snap motion and come back and show them that their card has traveled back to the top of the deck. Here they can reveal that they have some random card and you can toss that out of the frame. You don't need it. Do one last Marlow tilt, put it in the pack and then give them the entire deck. Now, a lot of people are afraid about putting that in their hands, but believe me, the spectators do not feel the difference between this and a whole pack of cards. So when this happens, their other hand will be on top, kind of like a sandwich. And so what you're doing is you're saying, I'm going to try and take your card out from your hand, but without looking. So you come in between their hands and all you're doing is removing the top card because it's not theirs. Theirs is in the second position. So you show the card, and it's not there so you can also throw that out you say okay well what if i just isolated your card very simply by removing the deck and then you just have your card left over that would be a lot easier to find them you can do whatever you want to tell them it will then remove their hand and show that their card is remaining with the omni deck now wait hold on the trick is not over well i mean that one is but there's a variation that you can do with this so we're going to go back in time right now the position we're in is that they have their hand over a random card their card and then the omni deck so we're back to when we just put this in their hands we haven't taken any cards out so you say okay i think i can find your card without looking at it so i think this one I think it's this one and they say no and you're like yeah I mean obviously there's no signature on it so then you can do a back palm all right my back palm is pretty terrible I'm working on it but in this instance it's very quick and the reason is you say oh well your signature's not on it so we don't need this one okay I'm just kidding it's right here it's, it's behind my hand so what if instead of making this card disappear I make the entire deck disappear except for your card so there's another segue you added another trick within the trick you are now kind of making a variety for this you have kind of like the ambitious card, the Omni deck, and a back palm involved. And like, oh, you can't make the entire deck disappear. It's almost like a challenge to them. Oh, what if I can make the entire deck disappear except for your card? Would that be impressive? They say, yeah, that's impressive. That's impossible. They remove their hand to reveal that their card, their signed card, is remaining with that piece of glass that impossibly got into their hands. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. Again, it's very easy. You are literally just doing two Marlowe tilts, some double lifts, and you're clean as a whistle. I also, I always perform it with that back palm involved. I think it spices up the trick a little bit and not a lot of people do it. So is it a little bit more interaction with the audience, asking them questions, challenging the audience to open their minds a little bit. What if I could do the impossible? because that's what magic is. You are impossibly connecting with someone that you've never met before. It's crazy, I mean, you were going on the street, on a stage, and you're like, hey, what if I just made a rabbit appear out of this hat? It's clearly empty, and you're like, well, yeah, he can't do that, but I mean, then again, we're paying to see this. He freaking pulls that rabbit out of a hat, and it was like, oh my God, he did it again. How does he do that? In doing so, the audience is connecting with that magician, with whoever is performing. The same with a comedian or a singer. You connect to that emotionally, socially. Magicians, we create art. And our canvas is just not a canvas, it's people. Take this trick in your arsenal. I promise it's worth your while. I perform it frequently. It is also one of the tricks I'm asked to do very often. People come up to me, hey, show me the glass trick. That is their favorite. People love this trick and I know you will too. That is it for this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video. I will be pumping out as much as I can before I run out of time and go to California and stuff. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope, I hope this tutorial was much better and faster than the last one. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.